Oh. Alright, before I start the mission, I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. My stomach's like been hurting me all day. So I will be right back. You can entertain you. You're leaving me to entertain you? Yes. Be right back. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Go. Um, hi, yo. How are you, yo? Oh, uh, story time? Uh, he, uh, he isn't here. <laughs> yeah, impossible. I'm not a good entertainer. I'm sorry. Oh, you're great. Um, uh, yeah, that's nice. I am suddenly very awkward. <laughs> God damn it, Steve! Steve, I swear to God, put the phone down. What? No. No, I'm not telling you a story. No, no. No stories for you. No, I don't know any stories. See, Yo is telling a story. Yo can do it. I believe in Yo. I might have one story. Maybe. That, I can't decide whether or not I'm going to tell you a story. You, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to fanfiction it and I'm going to redo fanfiction. Aren't you excited? I am reading you fanfiction. This is going to be fanfiction. Also, goddamn my internet. My internet. <laughs> it's blowing up. Yeah. I just made a very weird noise, and also my browser just froze. Lovely. Damn it, internet! The story of how I killed my internet. I fucking clicked on it, and then it stopped working. And then I said screw it and did it something anyways, even though it says it stopped working. Which is, which might be cheating. But I don't care. Also, I'm not on the stream right now, so I can't see what you're saying. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is my password? Oh, that's my password. It's nice that I have so few passwords I could just put one in by the... All three of them in and one of them works. I thought I didn't know my password there for a second. That would have sucked. Alright. Ah, good it. Freaking internet! I make a lot of rendered voices, I just realized that.
I don't have anything not M rated in my library. That this that is lovely. Alright, this seems to be the least M rated one, as I can remember. My memory isn't trustworthy. Hmm. Uh, Steve, come back. I don't want to read this. Ah. Alright. This is unfinished. That is nice. That means I don't have to finish. It's called the, uh, The Red String of Fate by, uh, Korori. It is, in fact, PewDiePie as is much of my stuff on my pad. Eh. Eh. Have you heard of the Red String of Fate, my friend? This mystical red thread connects the heart of one to their destined lover, their soulmate. Although the string remains invisible, your heart, your hearts will tell you when you have found the right person. Shall the timing be perfect? Once you have found said soulmate, the red string shall reveal itself, if only a little bit, to prove that this is who you are meant to spend the rest of your days with. Even if you are with the wrong person, the red string of fate never changes course. What would you do if you had the ability to see these strings? If you saw nothing but these sparkling threads hanging from people's hearts? Would you do the best of your ability to help these people fall in love? Or would you use it to your advantage? Gaining selfish rewards along the way. And how would you react if you saw that thread hanging from your own heart connected to you, connecting you to someone you despise? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, this is from someone's point of view. Crud. Oh, it's so from a guy's point of view, even better. Um, Cry's point of view. Cry, that, that's a nice name right there. Cry. Anyways. Another night, another restless dream. I would jolt awake with a gas, sweat trailing down my entire body, letting my uh, soaked clothes cling to me. My breathing would be heavy and uneven, so I had to always try and calm myself down before I could fall asleep again. But once my eyes closed, another nightmare would be waiting there for me, welcoming me with open arms and an unsettling smile on its face. It's been like this for some time now, but I had no idea what had happened for me to get these reoccurring nightmares. Before, it would be just the occasional spooks. But for the past month, the horrific dreams became frequent to the point of appearing every day. Every time my eyes would stay closed. Closed. I was scared to fall asleep at night, knowing that an unknown, terrifying world was there. They would make me see another illusion, another life. Where everything was nothing but unfortunate events. After yet another scare, I lay awake on my bed, eyes wide with fright and body trembling. I stared at the ceiling for some time, making sure I was in reality and not another wonderland. Satisfied that the roof did not drip of blood, I slowly sat up in bed, stretching my arms over my head. After I heard the refreshing sound of bone popping, I glanced down at the clock that had been placed on the small table near my bed. As of now, it was... What the fuck time is that? I, I can't read his fucking time. What what the hell is that? Is that it's some kind of weird German time? I, I can't read that. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what time that is. Steve, are you back? Maybe. <laughs> I switched windows for five seconds. I swear to God, Steve, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to fucking kill you. I was very uncomfortable reading and you didn't tell me you were back. <laughs> That's not happy. <laughs> I, 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 I can't even. <laughs> oh, man. 
No, I did not say cock. I said clock. It was a Sorry, clock. Mr. Crispin, we need your weapon. Wouldn't want to be rude. Not a scratch. Mr. Quinn said you like to see the raw merchandise. I'd like to know what I'm paying for. I switched. I switched windows and I saw a car moving here, and I was like, "That isn't the pause screen. What's going on?" I asked for my merchandise <laughs> to be delivered here. I just switched back, and there was a car moving across the screen, and I was like, "That is not right." <laughs> 